Hi guys, this is Chandeep Chhabra and uh, today I've come up with a very interesting case uh, that I often see people struggling with uh, in MS PowerPoint. Uh, this case is about uh, proper alignment in PowerPoint and I'll just explain you the case. So uh, consider this to be uh, an organizational uh, chart so you have the chief executive officer on the top and then you have the sales head you have the head of operations you have the head of HR and you have the head of finance um, uh, so I, I believe somebody was trying to make a, a presentation where they had to make an organizational chart with CEO being on the top and then uh, the sales operations HR and finance departments taken care by their respective heads but what the presenter probably uh, didn't take care was uh, the alignment horizontally is not proper so if you just have a look at these uh, these uh, uh, rectangles in which the text is written the alignment of these rectangles is not either bottom aligned or top aligned if you they just look a little haphazard so I could not understand the reason why that the uh, head operations is you know kind of popping up uh, on a little top and why is this head HR falling a little below uh, you know, uh, below the other ones uh, technically what people generally do is they they just take support of the mouse uh, so they, they will just hold it with the mouse on the left key and just try and manually arrange it now if you just see that these are little guidelines that are that are coming if you just see the lines here you see these lines these lines coming which are helping you to guide uh, you know to place the object in exact alignment with head of operations these are guidelines these are guidelines would uh, appear if you're working in excel i'm sorry if you're working in powerpoint uh, 2007 and above rather 2010 and above so if you're working in powerpoint 2010 and above you would have these guidelines to rescue you uh, from this problem but if you do not have a 2007 uh, 2010 and above PowerPoint then probably you would be in a, some sort of a fix so you just don't know how to probably make sure that with just the help of mouse how can you be so sure that you know these objects are perfectly top aligned so I'm not even sure that is it exactly top aligned or not okay so so I just want to be sure that uh, I'm just doing undoing all my actions by Control Z, which is the shortcut for uh, Control undoing your action. So what I want to do is uh, I want to bring all of this in top alignment. So I want to place all of them in one single horizontal alignment. This will make my slide a, a, a lot more structured. So let's see how we can do that. So you got to be selecting all four of uh, the, it could be objects, it could be text, it could be a graph or anything. You can select the four objects, okay. As soon as you select the object, uh, a fresh uh, tab appears, which is under drawing tools, it's called a format tab. In the format tab, you will have something called as an align option, align, align, okay. In line, you have three options here: align left, I'm sorry, align top, align middle, align bottom. This is what we are talking about: the horizontal alignment. So you want to align all of the, them from the top. You want to align all of them from the middle, or you want to align all of them from the bottom. Is your choice. So let's say I want to say that I want to align them from the top. You see that at just a click away, all of these four boxes got aligned from the top. Let's just figure out a difference that what happens when we align them from the bottom and what happens when we align them from the middle. Probably I can just you know give you some differences between all of them. So I'm doing Control Z to get back to my original state. This is where I was. Uh, these were not aligned. Now I'm selecting all of four of them together, and I'm going to align. Now earlier I did top align. This was the topmost object. So amongst four of these. This is kept on the top. What I mean to say is that this this whole uh, this is the highest amongst all in terms of positioning. 
so when you do a top alignment everything will align itself to the topmost object when you do a bottom alignment it will figure out that which of the four objects selected is at the bottom most position which is this and when you do an align bottom all of the other three objects will align themselves to this object to the bottom so if I do a bottom alignment all of them fall to the bottom uh, so is the case with the middle alignment all of them for all of all of the four objects are just themselves to probably fall into a middle alignment so choose the alignment that you like depending upon the placements of your objects and uh, you can probably you know uh, sort this problem out very easily uh, the next today that we have is something called as a vertical alignment okay so I'll just explain the case to you the case is that uh, there's a company which is into the business of producing some products which are for the scalp care your hair and your scalp the following are the products you have a conditioner you have a long and long shampoo you have a hair color you have a light color and you have a hair oil so all of these uh, products are uh, all of these products are are sold uh, by this company and uh, again if you just have a look the alignment is just not proper now I don't understand the reason that why this object is more towards the left than the rest of the ones right so probably I have to select all four of them all five of them and I have to go to format again in format I have to go to align in the align tab I have again align left align center align right like I said for uh, the top alignment and the bottom and the middle alignment that if I choose the left alignment PowerPoint is going to figure out that which amongst the five objects is towards the leftmost side and let's say this is what I can see is towards the most leftmost side of of uh, all of the five so all the other one two three four objects are going to align itself to the leftmost of this object so I left you see that this hasn't changed all the rest four have aligned themselves with the leftmost object I'm just going to do a control Z for uh, undoing my action and redo the same action with uh, aligned right so uh, PowerPoint is going to figure out which is the most uh, right aligned object amongst all the five and the other four objects will align themselves into uh, an alignment with the right, rightmost object when you choose right align so this is how it goes and probably you can do a center line so control Z for getting it back to this to, to the default position I do a control uh, center a control center and it just center lines so this is how the alignment works now I'm sure you've been thinking about another anomaly here uh, that anomaly is uh, something like this so that anomaly is uh, that the distance between these uh, objects so light killer object and the product which is mentioned in the rectangle and the hair oil uh, should be equal so this distance versus this distance versus this distance versus this distance should be absolutely equal only then it makes uh, a proper coherence so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up all pick up all and this leads us to another problem which is uh, quite prevalent in the presentations uh, around is uh, the objects should be distributed at equal distances so I select all the objects uh, all the objects that I want to distribute equally uh, the distance between the objects that I want to distribute equally I go to format I go to align and then these two I have fantastic I have these two fantastic options as uh, distribute horizontally and distribute vertically so what I'm going to do is this is vertical this is vertical what I'm going to do is I'm going to distribute uh, these objects into a vertical alignment here so as soon as I distribute them vertically you see that the distance between the objects is, is kind of equal now it has distributed the objects vertically with equal spacing between each uh, 
I com I'm coming back to the earlier slide about uh, the organizational chart. I have different departments here. I've already made sure that the, these departments are aligned properly from the top. And uh, all I all that I don't have is that I don't have the spaces between uh, the objects uh, as equal. So I'm going to select the objects. Now in the last slide, uh, I chose vertical alignment because if you can just see that you want to align them in a vertical direction. Now here you want to align them, uh, distribute them rather, in, in a horizontal direction. So I'm going to go to format, I'm going to go to align, and I'm only going to go, I'm, I'm going to go to distribute them horizontally. So I want to distribute these objects at equal distances in the horizontal format. So uh, distribute horizontally. And just like that, we have uh, a neat organizational chart ready. One thing I would like to just uh, kind of emphasize is that um, the format toolbar in which you see the uh, align drop down only appears when you select an object. So when I select this object, that format tab appears. Okay. So this is one thing that I want to kind of uh, stress on. Uh, I hope this uh, video was useful to you. Thanks for watching and uh, I will post in the next video that how can you make this process even more shorter with uh, finding a shortcut to alignment options. Well, thanks for watching and do take care of yourselves. Bye.